And uh, that's uh, the, it, one of the really interesting things about this organ is it's one of the very few uh, Robert Morton organs uh, that is still in its original location. This organ has never been anywhere else but here. It was installed by the factory and uh, you find other organs around the country in theaters, but they've been brought, in, brought from someplace else. This is an original factory installation, and so we have tried to keep it as original as possible so that uh, to preserve it as uh, an example of what it was when it was first installed. We haven't messed around with it or anything. This is exactly as the original design is intended. The organ itself, the Robert um, Morton organ, is there something unique about this? Like if, I mean, people know guitars, you know cars, they say, okay, this is a... Well, yeah, there's a rather interesting story uh, in that um, the company that built this, Robert Morton organs of Van Nuys, California, and they went out of business in 1930, so don't try looking them up in the phone book. Um, they were originally the Los Angeles Art Organ Company, and they built classical organs for churches. Um, and when theaters started using organs, it's a different kind of instrument. It's not intended to be an organ. It's intended to replace the orchestra. So they had orchestral sounds. And uh, they so the original name for them was the unit orchestra, not it became known as the theater organ uh, by, in the common vernacular, but they were really unit orchestras. And of course the big manufacturer was Wurlitzer, uh, who are right here in New York in North Tonawanda. Uh, uh, so Wurlitzer's designer, they used the designs of an Englishman called Robert Hope Jones. And so it was known as the, the Robert Hope Jones Unit Orchestra. And when the Los Angeles Art Organ Company decided to go into the business of building theater organs, they didn't want anything to be associated with uh, church organs, so they wanted a name uh, sort of similar. And it occurred to the managing director of the company that he had two sons, Robert and Martin. And so that was where the name came from. It was the Christian names of the owner's sons. And I actually met, uh, the family name was Werner. I actually met Marty Werner. Uh, he was working at NBC uh, in the um, commercial sales department. He sold you commercial time on television. And there's a big uh, Robert Martin organ in uh, Manhattan in uh, the, uh, what was Lowe's 178th Street Theater, and is now Reverend Ike's uh, United Palace. He's the black evangelical uh, Reverend Ike. And uh, when we got that organ back playing again, uh, we invited him, and he came on the stage, and he was quite old. He must have long since passed away, because that was 1970. And he gave a little talk on how the name came about, and that's how we found out. <laughs> so uh, that is the reason why it's the Robert Morton Organ Company. <laughs> that's a good, good show. Perfect.